when you're trying to build in a league like this. These teams up there aren't getting worse, so we have to get better. Hopefully you'll come back in a couple years and, and we'll be able to talk a little bit differently about where we are as a program, and uh, I feel very confident that that's what's going to happen. Good job. Yeah! Good job! Good job! That boy Shaq, move it! Steve, we changed the culture right away. I mean, you're, you're, you're going to hustle, you're going to rebound, you're going to die for loose balls. Um, that's a Steve Peichel signature team. Here you go. Here you go, Black. I think every year we've been here, we've gotten better, and, and that's been my goal. We needed to upgrade a lot of things. The locker room, and the weight room. Now we're in the best practice facility, I think, in the country. Investments in the program, the practice facility, $110 million. They have been everything because there's a building people can walk into and see, hey, Rutgers is serious about competing in big time basketball. Here we go, here we go. Going into the year, we had a lot of newcomers. We only have one three-year player, Geo Baker. Everyone else is a first-year, second-year player. So we had a lot of pieces that we kind of had to mold together. This year, I really saw something happen. After we had just lost to Pitt, just lost to Michigan State, and we could have called the quits right there. We could have put our head down. We could have soaked our way through the rest of the season. But instead, we picked our heads back up. We beat Wisconsin at the rack. Tonight belongs to the Scarlet Knights. And we beat C.N. Hall at the rack. Rutgers has painted the Garden State scarlet. I think we are always realizing we can do this. Like We're just as good as anybody in the Big Ten, and we're going to prove it. Rutgers hasn't made the NCAA tournament since 1991. They've had losing seasons dating back to 2006. That's a long time. And so the first goal was to change that and have a winning season. That's happening this season. The second goal, play in a postseason tournament. That's happening this season. The third goal, play in the NCAA tournament. And that's the carrot at the end of the stick. Baker for three, and the lead, he hit! When I first took over the program, they were more surprised when we win. Now they're, you know, coach, you lost the game. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna lose some games in this league. I hope people just continue to realize that we're on a great journey here. Hopefully a lot of people will enjoy the ride. I think as a coach, that's one of the hardest things to define, is who has it. Io has it. People are just now realizing, like, you know how dominant he is when it's time, you know, crunch time to win games. He's done it his freshman year to help us win over some big time teams. Desumu throws a three! And that is a freshman making a monster shot here at the John Steed Center. I do think he has grown in the ability to understand that it's not just the shot, it's the play, and it's the right play. The Miami game, we are down 27, and we could fire all the way back, cut it to one. 10 seconds left, I'm bringing about the court. Desumu, yeah! offensive foul! Game over, we lost the game. He went a little bit early. We weren't set in the right places. The floor was spaced horribly because of that. Now we don't even get a shot off. It was much more a defining moment maybe for him, understanding patience, but I also think it was a great moment for our basketball team. You have to hit certain speed bumps. We had opportunities to win games and didn't because we were still growing. For Illinois, an absolute gut shot oh. after they played 39 minutes of awesome basketball. I just try to have the Kobe Bryant mindset and LeBron mindset where at the same time, yes, if, if, if it's my shot and you know my team needs me to make the shot, I'm going to take it. But at the same time, I trust my teammates to make the play. Now the Subo sets up Griffin for three. Now we get on a seven game win streak and those speed bumps that we had early helped us. He's won, I mean, a lot of games for us this year. The most memorable to me were at Wisconsin. In the last three or four minutes, Io made every right play. Not just scoring the ball, but he made every right pass, which led to guys comfortably shooting the shots that they know they can make. 
and that's a huge growth point. I think Iowa was responsible for 14 straight, and then he had a three that iced it. And Iowa up top buries the three. We talk about he doesn't fear the moment. We talk about how hard he's worked that gives him the confidence. Pull up from 15 is good with .5 on the clock. I mean, he literally put us on his back and carried us that day. But that's what great players do. When I first came into here, we were at the bottom of the mountain, trying to climb to the top of the mountain. Now we're getting closer and closer to the top of the mountain. We're still not done. We still have a lot of climbing to do. I'm really proud of Io because he knew he could help put this thing back where it belongs. Unfortunately, we have to start with sad news today. Spartan basketball player Cassius Winston is dealing with tragedy as his brother died over the weekend. He was struck by a train. Cassius is a guy I respect. I sent him a message. There's a lot of hype between Cassius Winston and Xavier Simpson going at it, but at the same time, like when something like that happens and you know that guy personally, it's important that you put that aside and just show your condolences. First game playing against him, I think we were in fourth grade. It's been a tremendous road experience playing against him. For him to be able to play at Michigan State, can't do nothing but respect that. They're both high level leaders. I would say Xavier more vocal and Cassius lead by example. Cassius went right around. Great players play great when the stakes are high. They know everything about one another. The comparison has always been, you know, Simpson versus Winston. Simpson drives on Winston off the glass and down. My thing is, I just do not want it to become a one-on-one -on -one matchup where you feel he has to outplay Cassius. This is the final scheduled game between Cassius Winston and Xavier Simpson. Two young men who have put their names all over the Michigan and Michigan State record books. This is what it's been all about. The matchup has not let us down at all. Simpson, left wing, Livers for a three out of the timeout. It's pure. Isaiah Livers, a modest smack in the chest as he knocks down his first bucket in two weeks. Bond, head and shoulder fake, got brown up, kicking to the point. Simpson for a three, he betcha. Look like it's gonna be a three point shooting contest here today. Chrysler starting to rock. Crazy first half. So now you go, okay, is everybody settled down? Play some real basketball. With the ball, Cassius Winston. Step back, jump shot from the elbow, good. Now you want to talk about a frantic pace up and down. This one just comes down to toughness, toughness, toughness. What was a 10-point Michigan lead dwindled down to one. Left wing Brooks, now at the point, Wagner to the right side, Simpson. The worst to the right baseline. Still driving. Kicking left corner. Brooks for a three. Yes. Simpson drives. Low block left. Lays it in with the right hand. Finishing amongst the trees at the rim. Brooks near sideline. Alley oop. To Teske, a one hand tomahawk jam. Love to see the energy that Michigan's playing with right now. Simpson near sideline. He kicks it left corner. To Julius composes. Shoots and scores. Right wing Simpson, another three. Rattled it home! Stop it, young man, stop it. Boy, Xavier Simpson played his tail off today. We just threw some away again. That bothered me. And then we let a couple guys get going, give Simpson credit, he made some shots, but you know, we had a game plan on what we wanted to do. I wouldn't change it. Any wins feels good. Um, we took a loss to Ohio State, and we've been losing lately, as you guys know. We want to stay locked in and remember that we got we dug ourselves a hole, and we got to try to find a way out of it.